hey, I'm going to show you how to make the moss stitch. This is a great stitch for a beginner variation because it gives you a really great look, but you only need beginner skills. And you can make a lot of stuff. It's really versatile. You can make blankets. You can make scarves. You can make a cape for a hamster or whatever. I don't know what you're into, people. Uh, I just made these cool mug rug coasters, and this is the moss stitch. See how it gives a really unique look, but it's really, really simple, you guys. It's almost easier than just doing rows of single crochet, honestly. It's also really easy to do color changes, and it gives you a nice clean edge, like so. So let's get to it. All right, the first thing when you start, it's important to note that you need a, a an even number of foundation chains, and you're also going to lop off the last four chains and start into the uh, fourth chain from the hook. So keep that in mind when you're doing the length of whatever it is that you're going to make. So for the sake of this video, I did 12 foundation chains, and now we're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook. All right, so here's our hook, and there's one, two, three, four. We're going to go right there, right into that fourth chain, and you're just going to single crochet like a baby, and then you're going to chain one. Now you're going to skip the next chain right there and go into the one after the, the one you skip. So just go right into it and make a single crochet. And then chain one, and then you're going to do it again. Skip one and into the one after the skip. Single crochet, chain one, skip, and then go into the next one single crochet, chain one, and now you're getting down to the end here. You're going to skip and then you're in the last chain, or really the first one of your foundation chain. You're going to make a single crochet, and now being at the end, we are going to chain two and turn your work. Now, and remember, you're always going to turn to the left, toward you, to the left. Now, if you were just doing single crochets or just a bunch of crochets, you'd go into the stitch or off the hook. We're not going to go into the tops of the stitches. Instead, we are going to crochet into the chain one spaces that you created as you went. So you're going to go here, skip one, here, skip one, here, skip one, here, and so on. So let's see how that looks. And you're just going to repeat that same pattern. So you're going to skip past that first stitch and go directly into the chain one space and you're going to single crochet and then chain one. Now you're going to skip this stitch and go right into the chain one space, single crochet, chain one. And that chain one is always going to go over the stitch you're skipping and then right into the chain one space, single crochet, chain one, skip, into this chain one space, single crochet, chain one, and now we are at the end, and this is the only part, but I think it's a little bit like, what the what? You're going to skip that stitch. See, there's the top of it right there. You're going to skip it, just like you have been, and now there isn't a chain one space, there is the turning chain that you created. And yes, yes, people, you are going to go directly into the space of the turning chain, right there. Just pow. And you're going to single crochet like you don't have a care in the world and then you're, you're done with that row you're going to chain two and you're going to turn your work which is always toward you to the left and now you have finished that first full row of moss stitch and now you're just going to do it again you're going to skip this first stitch right there and go into the chain one space single crochet chain one, skip the space, single crochet, ah! single crochet, chain one, skip, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. and now we're at the end again. I'm going to skip this big fat stitch here that I made and go right into that turning chain space. It can be a little hard to see. You might have to kind of pull it out to separate it to make sure that's where you're going, but that's that's it. That's the place to be. Single crochet, and then go ahead and do your 
too. And that is, that is really how you do it. And then you turn your work toward you to the left. Now, if you want to change colors, the place to do it at the end of the row before you do your chain two and turn, when you're finishing up that last one, I think this is the best place to change colors. So let's pretend we're back here and we're just going to do our last stitch into the turning chain at the end space. You're going to pull up that first loop so that you have two on the hook. And now this is where I like to change colors. And you'll just take, let's just pretend this was another color, even though it's not, we're going to pretend. You're just going to take your new color, pull it through like that, and then do your regular uh, chain two with the new color and turn the work. Sorry, that's a little sloppy, but I just wanted to show you where I like to change. And that's what I did on these pieces. I changed on the end. And as you can see, looks pretty decent. That, folks, is the moss stitch. And you'll have a thing that looks like this. And people will go, what is that? And you'll say, um, don't make fun of this blob. It's going to be amazing when it's done. And then you will have something amazing, maybe like this. Okay, I hope that made sense. I hope you learned a new skill. Put it to use. Have fun. Thanks for watching. You're awesome.